Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we are entering into a new course that is DOM introduction. So we'll learn about the complete details and complete thing about the DOM. So what is this DOM and how this DOM is useful. So we will learn about the complete details about this DOM in the JavaScript, how it is useful. So in this series. So let's jump into the DOM. So all the people will be having doubt what is this DOM exactly is and how we, how this dom is uh, useful in the javascript is the Java, is the dom is a part of the javascript or not this type of question so many people are having so in this videos so we'll try to de uh, debug or so we'll try to anal analyze so what is this dom exactly is and in javascript how this exactly fits into the javascript and all those things we'll try to see about this all in the complete details so let's start with the dom introduction <clears throat> So DOM is one of the important thing when you are trying to learn about the client side JavaScript. Here I'm stressing one of the word that is client side JavaScript. If you are learning about the server side JavaScript like node and all those things. So DOM will not be there. But here when you are especially when you are learning about working in the browser, the JavaScript DOM plays a crucial role. So this is one of the important thing you need to learn when you are working in the client side JavaScript. So that is one of the important thing which I can tell you. So when you are working on the client side JavaScript means then it is compulsory or it is mandatory or necessary for you to learn understand about the DOM and how it works. So how it works in all those things in the browser you need to learn. So that is the thing I want to explain you clearly. So now first in this video we will learn exactly what DOM is and how it is used in the JavaScript. So we will complete all the details about the DOM in this series. So that is the thing which I want to try to explain you. Firstly, the first one. So first you need to understand the DOM exactly stands for the document object model. So what is this document object model? These are all the things you will get into it in a lot more detail in the upcoming videos. So first you need to understand the full form for this DOM is document object model. Just understand that before learning just understand that every single interaction on your page so that means if you are doing any interaction on your page for example like slideshow in a carousel so whenever you are trying to uh, submit the incomplete form so the error messages will be coming at the top or navigating the menu items whenever you click on the menu items or the hamburger icon so the menu will be sliding from left to right so these are all types of interactions when you are trying to do so all are result of the javascript accessing and manipulating the DOM. so this is not this is coming through the javascript and the javascript is so it is showing you by accessing and manipulating the dom so that means out of all 10 interactions so if you are making 10 interactions 9 out of 10 interactions so all the things comes from the manipulating or accessing the dom only so that is one of the important concept you need to understand so now another question what I want to do is so now we understood so what is a DOM. So now we understood that so the, the DOM full form and where exactly the DOM is useful in the JavaScript we have seen it. So first and another one what I want to tell you is is the DOM a programming language. So that means so no, is this DOM a programming language. The answer is no. DOM is not a programming language. However, without DOM, the client side JavaScript here again, the client side JavaScript would be pretty useless as it would not have any model or any model or any thing for accessing the HTML document. So without DOM, so DOM is not a programming language. So it is not a programming language, but JavaScript is a programming language. But the client side JavaScript without the DOM is pretty useless. Why? Because it doesn't have any model or any structure or any methods or something like that for accessing or manipulating the HTML document. So then the DOM is not a programming language. Okay, fine. So we understood the DOM is not a programming language. Then where does this DOM come from? So who, do, who provides this DOM actually? So if DOM is not a part of the JavaScript language or DOM is not a separate programming language, then where does this DOM come from? The DOM does not come, doesn't come from the JavaScript. The browser gives us the access to the DOM. So the DOM comes from the browser. The browser itself gives us the access of the DOM. So there are so many browsers available in the market or in the internet. 
Chrome, Microsoft Edge. So these are all the things, Firefox, these are all the browsers are available out of these most popular ones. So this means that different browsers will have their own unique way of creating the DOM. So that means the browser is providing the DOM means where there are different types of browsers available in the internet. So the different browsers have their own way of implementation of creating the DOM. So that is the meaning I want to tell you. So we understood that the DOM means document object model. In order to understand the DOM, we need to step back a little. Everything in the browser can be represented as an object. Okay, here you need to understand about the object. Everything in the browser can be represented as object. So if you, if you don't have any knowledge about the object and all those things, better you learn my JavaScript complete course. So you can understand about these objects. I have explained you about the objects, arrays, functions, constructor functions, prototypes. These are all the things I have explained it. So you better take a look at this one if you don't have any knowledge about this object and all those things. So if you have knowledge, if you know, have, if, if you know about these objects and all those things, we can continue further. So you need to understand that everything in the browser can be represented as an object. So when we start accessing this document object, so that means we know that everything in the browser, everything in the browser is an object. So when you start accessing that object, so that object is nothing but document object, we have a lot of properties. So here properties and methods. So these are available in the object. So we have a lot of properties and methods available to us straight out of this box. Okay. So if you have everything in the browser is an object. So the document object model, it's nothing but an, it's an object. So if you have, when you start accessing this document object, so you can access this document object directly. I will try to show you that object thing, how we can access it. We have a law, whole lot of properties and methods available to us straight out of the box. And we could access these properties and methods directly in the browser or in the JavaScript, we can directly access this one. So I will try to show you. So in order to know this document object, how this or document object looks like, and how this one is, I will try to show you by, by creating a simple HTML document and we'll see about this one all. So first you need to understand here. So what are the topics we have covered? So the doc, DOM means nothing but it said the full form is document object model. Okay. So almost every interaction on the page and all those things come from the access through the DOM only. So JavaScript does it through accessing the DOM only. So DOM is not a programming language. So that is also one of the important thing you need to understand DOM is not a programming language. So the DOM is provided, this DOM is provided by the browser. So a different type of browsers has their own different way of implementation of this DOM. So the DOM means nothing but the full form is document object model. So here the document is nothing but an, it is represented as an object. The browser represents the DOM as an object. So the object means nothing but you can have access to the properties and there are different types of properties and methods available in the DOM. So those different types of properties and methods we can directly access it straight out of the box. We will see how this one looks like in the next video. So this is all about the introduction of the DOM. So in the next video you will see you will create HTML document and we will see how this document object and all those things looks like. Hope you understood about this DOM introduction. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.